We're on the California Arizona state line. As you can see, we're actually kind of on vacation. There was this crazy toe attacking tilapia down there. Oh my god, he ain't taking no crap. I'm like a hundred times his size. That thing went ramming speed. That thing thinks it's Captain Kirk, man. He hit like warp nine on my damn heel. I mean, he straight nailed me. I, I swear to God, I'm gonna have a bruise. I'm going back down for a little more uh, Mike Tyson tilapia anger management therapy. Round two, me versus Mike tilapia Tyson. He <laughs> hits hard. <laughs> He's a freaking tilapia dive bomber, man. He's coming in like it was World War II. Today, nature was supernatural. My freaking foot hurts. Bad fish. Thing was a pit bull. I'm gonna call its owner. My toes are like little tater tots for him, and he was just trying to take them out. They're toter tots. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Maybe that's a bad. I, normally, it's not an impression of a fish, but today it was. Dang it. Don't question my logic, I promise you. I'm the most logical person you'll ever meet. Mr. Logical, that's me. I'm mysterious logical, that's what it is. Ah, friggin' waves. What waves? You might have wondered why I switched masks just now. It's because I want Matthew to experience the joy that is the tilapia attack. <laughs> you got little gamer hands that look like that? Never point the finger at a tilapia. I think it probably breaks some little kid's fingers. So, whatever you do, don't blame him. Never say it was your fault, or you're gonna lose your fingers. Keep your fingers and toes away from the tilapia at all times. And if you're a stick insect, keeps your legs and arms away from the tilapia at all times. Basically, I have to have no limbs before I'm safe. It is highly recommended also that men stay away from the tilapia. Oh, God. I think it's out here somewhere. See if we can get this kid bit. <laughs> oh god. I think we're gonna have to take him to the same place they go for Discovery Channel Shark Week. Then I'm pretty sure Matthew will feel the love. We are on our way to a new destination, the Colorado River. Watch the road so I don't kill me and the kids. If you kill your kids, you're not a very good parent. Uh -oh. oh, road you didn't. What kind of road you taking us on? It might be the last road. <laughs> hey, we didn't die, I'm so happy. Yeah, but we're not done yet. I don't know about this road. I could stand on my seat right now, like I'm freaking vertical. Ah! Oh God, I could literally stand on my seat. We gotta back it down slowly. It's just wedging us sideways no matter how I go. It got such poor grip it was unsteerable. Did a little bit of off-roading and we went off the off-road. So now we're stuck right there 
And I gotta move these boulders out of the way. Helicopter can just lift our car up to the right. Yeah, we don't want. Yeah, she's gonna go right over to the army base and be like, hey guys, can I borrow a Chinook? I got myself in a pile of Chakrep. It's a good thing I got the off-road approved tires because then I would have got stuck. Built Ford Tough. How not to off-road 101. I just drove more than 50 feet without dying. Gran Turismo, baby. Forza. You know, if they had actually put some off-roading in that game for me, this wouldn't have happened. I blame video games. It's their fault. I was not properly trained by my PlayStation or my Xbox before departure. Yeah, yeah, come on. Now I know how Fred Flintstone felt. Where's my brontosaur? Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. They're your modern Sony family. In the house of bedrock, I'll crash and kill my whole family. No, that's bad. I'm almost there, guys. You know you're dedicated. Not when you flip a hundred times, but when you flip the same thing a hundred times. I wish I had the rock to help me move this rock because I'm built more like the pebble or the sand grain. Just gotta spin this like I'm doing disco, disco. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Jeez. Get her done. Get undone. Back at the house. Have a beer. I don't drink, but I'm going to start. We need to keep that thing up. What do you mean we need to soup it up? I did soup it up. We're probably at about 460 horsepower and like 500 foot pounds of torque in this thing. So I think it's just the all wheel drive is not quite as advanced as it should be. Plenty of time off roading, not the advanced off roading some of you guys are used to. But this is the first time I encountered rocks with powder underneath them that basically just made a halfway sandbox for the truck with pebbles to like skip me over the parts that I needed grip on. Flintstones, I hate the Flintstones. Ow, that rock is hot. Jeez. The sun, you son of a. Y'all mad at the sun. I feel like Wiley, Wiley Coyote getting beat down by the Roadrunner with those cheap tricks. Physics, you can't treat me like this. Physics, it's not just a recommendation, it's the law. Ah, stick. Nature, get off of me! I hate you! I'm never coming back here again! Oh wait, that's right, we filmed that for a living. My bad, my bad. You know what they say? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I don't think you want the Darwin Award. No, I'm trying to get one for you and your brother. I'm not a greedy man, I share. Come in and don't run me over. Hey, and you'll be the Darwin Award. You know what they say, it's better to crawl on the rocks than to have them crawl on you. That's not a saying. Unless you're the rock's wife, then it's different. God. It, it is a saying, I just said it. And I'm on YouTube, so in five minutes it'll be a saying. Makes sense, right guys? Don't you dare just tell me we went the wrong way. No, this is actually the right way. Cancel, I don't want to pair with you. Stop pairing with me. But pairy scary. I don't want to get stuck in the desert all night if I mess something up. So we are going to turn around and we are going to hit those jackasses up there. Oh, they ran away. We'll go chase them down. A donkey. Hi guys, see the donkeys? I got the donkey. You got the donkey to life. Shrek wasn't hanging out with them. I think they had a falling out. We're gonna have to drive back because I just heard a big <laughs> sound from my car. I might have ran over a bush. I'm hoping it was a bush. Oh. Hopefully it wasn't George Bush or, or or George Bush again. Or or that other bush guy from Florida, whatever his name is. We just found a freaking ram. This thing looks a little funny. He knows my name. He said, Matt. Guys, it is so dang hot out here. 
I might have just sweated out some water I collected from my mom when I was a tummy baby 36 years ago. Some shrimp sound freaking good right now. Oh, I want to eat some shrimp. I'm going to just dive right into the water face first and just start chewing on crawdads, biting fishing lines, eating people's bait. All right, we just took a bit of a detour. We left the truck in the parking lot. I didn't feel like dying and crashing and burning. So we are at the lagoon, though. Horsepower. I don't need no horsepower, okay? That's horsepower. How about fish power? Is there a me? No, that's a horse fly. <laughs> it's biting oh, me. Don't, don't move. Guys, there's this huge horse fly on Matthew. It looks like the freaking alien. Is he, ow, ow, God, it hurt. Is he biting you? Yeah, he's I, biting me. I'm going to bite him back. You were a bad fly. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, oh! He got knocked out. Okay, guys, normally I don't assault the insects or the animals, but that thing had it coming. I'm a peaceful guy, but man, when, you, when you're that much of a pestilence, he's gonna call his friends, and then Jesus is gonna send the storm, so I had to discipline him there, right there. Oh my God, you're bleeding! A fly, a really mean fly just mauled my back. Oh my God, guys, look at this. Look what this fly did to Matthew. That fly was a very bad fly, so I let him have it. He deserved that. See what he did to Matthew? Let this be a lesson to all the rest of you flies out there. You fly over here, you're gonna get wrecked. See how skinny I am? I am a human fly swatter. Bad flies. This doesn't work out. This is a no fly zone, okay? I'll call the Air Force. They will shoot you down. Just I just disciplined the alien. He ain't coming back to this planet again. Let's go. Woo. I just took a drink of the Colorado River. And this ain't the fresh northern version. The things that are swimming around in here, the bacteria in here is so big you can't tell if it's freaking minnows. Put a little fish fry. Some of you think fishing. Maybe it's for tilapia. Or maybe it's a crappia because they didn't catch crap because they don't know how to fish. That's why their lures in the bottom of the lake. Big old carp right there. We are getting out of the water right now. It's a bit too murky for us to really see what we're looking for. We are going to go find a more clear spot, maybe a much nicer cove. We're going to head across to the reefs behind us. Oh, there's some big fish and some turtles. Definitely looks like these reeds are a serious hiding spot for some critters. Okay, I'm knocked out. I am on land. The land's on me. I am one with nature. Find a better spot to search that has better clarity and the smells. Yeah, Smell the clarity, guys. It's organic. We're out in Bard, Arizona, I believe. No idea what the name of this lake is, so I'll have to update it. Neil's gonna look for some clawdads, crawdads, whatever they're called, because the water line's down. But there's enough sand and rocks that hopefully we should have some pretty decent clarity. You enjoying that water and them bugs? Dragonfly sausage. Mm. All right, guys, driving a private property right now in the RV park. There's a ram right here. Look at that. And no, it's not a Dodge. It's an actual ram. Jesus, there's another one right there. Hey, bro, care for a selfie? Okay, I'll take that as a no. He's like, you don't know me. 
<laughs> All right, rolling out. It's the day after tomorrow. Yeah, in a wave. Kinda. We're gonna go find a more clear spot. Maybe a much nicer cove with less alien flies attacking the boys. I get stung by bees, they get attacked by flies. For normal people, getting attacked by insects ain't a big deal. But when you're the size of an insect like my family is, it's a big deal. Speaking of big deal, I think the kids got picked up by a wasp or something. Oh, no, there they are. Cancel that life insurance collection, call the company. Oh, oh, there we go. Ow, I like rock salt, but that's rock assault. We're not gonna put up with this. He's a brick house. Mighty, mighty, letting it all flop out. Wait a minute, he's a fish and they flop it. That sounded so wrong. We're going back down, get another look at this tolapia. They never made it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Go to Patreon channel to help us buy better gear so we stop drowning. Help us stop drowning. Yeah, don't break the camera. Dang it, you ruined it. Hey, I said show them the tilapia, not the teeth lapia. The teeth overlapping, huh?